morning. So we have a no heat call. This is a heat pump. <clears throat> it's not heating. I turned on the air conditioner and all the numbers look good. Uh, however, when we put it in heat mode, um, it basically has a restriction and shuts off on high pressure. So anyway, we got it in cool mode right now. So let's go ahead and plug her in and see what happens. So actually there's a delay on this. So uh, we shall wait out the delay. So. Here we go. Yeah, but we're under low ambient conditions, so our numbers are going to be kind of off. Um, so we're going to be weighing in the charge. Yeah, so a little bit above 100, so that's good. But um, inside I'm getting about 22 degrees split um, on the supply return delta T. So it seems to be okay in cooling mode. So yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and put it in heat mode and show you what it looks like. Here we go. Okay, so we have her in heat mode, and we're suction's connected to the uh, true suction line. Here's what happens. So yeah, so the high pressure would just keep shooting up until the uh, high pressure switch is tripped and it shuts off. Um, and then the suction will just drop all the way down to 60. So we got a restriction. Uh, the only thing it could possibly be is the TXV that's in there. So that's what we're gonna be changing out today. So we're gonna have to do a recovery, um, cut that out. I'm gonna have to do some conversion because the one I have is a bolt-on, this one's a sweat-on. So I'm gonna have to make some modifications to get it to work. So, here we go, we're gonna start a recovery. All right, so we got a recovery started. So, while we're waiting for that, we'll be taking this apart so we have access to the TXV, so here we go. All righty, so we got that TXV out, so here she is. Yeah, that's what the inside looks like. So this one's supposed to be one with a check valve. Okay, it does have a check valve, so duh, it says right there on top. TXV has internal check valve. Yeah, so anyway, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of brazing because we got to convert this one into a, um, a bolt-on. So i got to put a bunch of fittings on there to make it compatible with the new TXV. Uh, so a little hole there, that's where the equalizer ports goes. I'm going to cut that out and put in a, um, a trader or a, you know, a port for the equalizer valve cause it's got a nut on it. Then we got to put on a nut there and then a nut there and yeah, so got to put on a bunch of stuff. So anyway, I'm going to go read the instruction manual and we're going to figure out how this thing goes together and we'll get it all brazed up. Okay, so this is how it's going to go. So the distributor, this is going to attach to the distributor port. Um, and then this goes off to the uh, thing, yeah. Yeah, that's, how, that's what it looks like. So yeah, so I gotta, I'm going to have to uh, braze this on, braze that on. And then I'm going to have to cut out the suction line and put on a, a, a port for this guy. And then we should be good to go. So yeah, good time. So here we go. Okay, so we're gonna cut this piece out here. We're gonna put in one of these. Yeah, so then we'll swedge this and then slide that in there. So. Alrighty then, so we got her in there. So now we just need to braise it up. Alrighty, so we're gonna braise this up. We got nitrogen flowing. Uh, so here we go. All right, 
right, so we got all our fittings brazed in. We got that brazed in. I did all this with having put TXV on, which was nice. So yeah. So we're gonna hook up our TXV and then uh, pressure test and hopefully it holds. Look at that, it actually didn't melt any wires too. So, um, sounds good. So here we go. Alrighty, so I passed the pressure test. We've been pulling a vacuum now for about 45 minutes. So we're at 410 microns, so we're gonna go ahead and shut her off and charge this up. So it takes about 15 pounds of our 410A refrigerant, so here we go. All right, so 14.75 pounds is what this guy holds, so we're letting it into the liquid line right now. So we'll get her charged up and then hopefully she works, so. Okay, so we got her all charged up, ran her in cooling mode, she's cooling. She's in heat mode now. Put out nice cool air. Pressures don't look ridiculous. I'm gonna go inside and see what the uh, temperatures coming out of the vents look like. So it looks like it was the TXV. So, phew. All right, so we're getting proper temperatures now, and we're getting good uh, good pressure. So we got about a 35 degree rise inside. Uh, so yeah, it looks like it was just a bad outdoor TXV. So. That was a pain, but thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, um, comment, and tell me what a horrible technician I am, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.